Hello, and uh, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to Approaching Infinity. Um, those who are, have been fans of my channel for a while now will know that I did uh, I did a series of this game quite a long time ago, and um, since since then it has received quite a few updates. Uh, a lot of them fairly major and um even like a game changing um and uh the game's about to hit like a pretty major milestone dev uh reached out to me and i was like do you want to cover my game i'm like well i actually did already um but uh you know i'd like to again because uh you know apparently a lot of work has been done so i'll probably do a stream in the future showing off um some of the new features or and mechanics and stuff but i figured i'd do um like a formal let's try uh, again of of uh of approaching infinity with it in mind to potentially do a series although uh there might be a question mark on that because i know that this game is a uh, is very time consuming like it, it is life consuming and i like that about it. it is it's very much like i think that this game is contender for like traditional roguelike for me like up there with cud honestly i i really really liked it when i was playing it and um i i just kind of fell off and i i want to get back into it but the series i'm not sure if i want to necessarily commit to that just yet we'll see how much i enjoy it uh, as i jump back in but uh anyway let's uh, let's see we can do a trader explore i seem to re enjoy re remember enjoying uh explore asteroid miner I'm, I'm not sure if i got too much into asteroid uh mining what is this stealth runner oh, that's interesting astro assault scout um let's do an explorer let's do an explorer pay it forward uh i'm probably i mean i guess we could can we transfer credits look at look at how much money i have let's uh yeah sure let's get like four hundred thousand credits i've i've made it clear i've been over time like a little bit more uh lenient on meta progression i still don't like it but um you know at least this game it's an option you don't have to um make use of it so that's nice um diplomacy select a shipping specialist your captain's class determines what you're good at and what passive and active skills you have available right so let's jump in there's a story now like a pretty predominant one humanity has always lived quietly in sanctuary space everyone is content something something except everyone except you you find a way off world on one of the tribute shuttles very kind of a uh, retro look here life in space is brutal you fight to survive as a nameless crew member you're tr you train as an officer at starhaven academy they don't teach g uh, galactic history Finally, you take your rightful place, captain of a small ship and crew, charting your own course through the warp point ne network. I kind of wonder where the, some of that art came from. You're nervous about your first command, but the academy trained you well. Even better, you're, uh, you've got top-of-the-line exosuits to handle the toughest planetary environments, as long as you aren't, uh, there aren't too many hostile critters. You're also curious what kind of life a technology and history might find on one of these strange new worlds. And I missed the last line. Sorry. Sorry. Welcome to the infinite universe in bite-sized pieces. You're free to explore and find your own path. Check your quest log and then start exploring. An arrow points to a known quest destination in this sector. Don't worry if you can't do something right away. You'll always find better equipment in new sectors. Here are our quests. Uh, collected zero of four of the necessary survey types. Your ship and crew are equipped to visit all kinds of planets, so put it to good use. Fully explore and survey four types of planets, Terran, Frozen, Barren, and Toxic. Don't tell the surveys until... Don't sell the surveys until you have the whole set. You might need additional equipment to handle mountains and lakes. Okay. Humanity's fate. Um, destination sector here. You've heard conflicting stories of what happened centuries ago and when humans met an alien race known as the Bankers. Every spacer knows banker stations are the place to refuel, repair, hire new crew, even buy and sell equipment, but is that all they are? This area is mostly deserted now, but maybe you can find a clue to what really happened. There's a former human colony in this sector at coordinates 77, uh, 2726. Go take a look. And then outfit the DOA team. 
Right now, your away team is only equipped with the bare essentials for planet side uh, missions. You can find surplus hardware in the field, but it's easiest to go to buy what you need at space stations. Get a grenade, an expendable area of effect weapon, a swap weapon, be prepared for multiple combat situations with additional damage types, and a device, often allowing you to cross terrain, a uh, difficult terrain. So here we are. Oh, did I accidentally press a button? There it is, Captain, an alien ship. Press H to hail it or click the wave button on the UI. Where is the wave button? Uh, oh, there it is. I think that's it. This will start a short conversation and help you learn about the faction you meet. Uh, talking to them usually increases their opinion of you, which you can view in the race relations tab in the, to the right. You can even hail to stop combat before one side ends up dead. Most ships will only respond to a single communication. Okay, let's hail them. So we got art for the the races now, which is wild to me. Like artwork and it trad ro roguelike. It's it's kind of crazy. Hairy upright bull creature huffs, bellows, and snorts. Uh, moo goo 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 badoo. Oh, translation. We load it in, take it there, to carry it out, and bring in something else for uncounted generations. We can zoom in. This is a feature I, I have always appreciated in traditional roguelikes. Welcome to tactical, tactical zoom mode. Enjoy the universe up close and personal. Click to mag the magnifying glass bu button. Press backspace or roll your mouse wheel. I know what I'll be doing. The map legend info screen will now function as a mini map. Really nice quality of life features added. I'll be using the numpad. Um, we'll just be like roaming around. We could. I don't think we can do mining. This explorer class ship can't ma mine asteroids. Either hire an officer skilled in asteroid mining or find a rock plow or asteroid cracker device. Right, there's a, um, a, a lot of equipment that will um, basically cover the same ground as some of your officers. Uh, scanning efficiency 58%. Heavy clouds and snow cover decrease scan efficiency by two. So we, I think we've scanned this, but I think we can also go down uh, and explore the zone. So this is our away team. I usually had my captain on my away team. This is something I tend to have, to, I like to have a bit more control over. Um, I'm not sure. Do we have like more than two officers or is that like everyone? Is that actually everyone? I don't know uh, how to check now. Quests, officers, installation, crafting. It's all coming back to me now. Achievements, active effects. Abandoned cargo. So we have a blaster. It's range four, speed 30, incendiary zapper. I think that's our melee weapon. Oxygen replenisher increases suit oxygen. Right, we have oxygen, which we can replenish by stepping back over the airlock. Can pick up some food. Um, definitely doing planet side like exploration is risky. This is the easiest way. The easiest way to die in this game is uh to to like step on a planet actually i won't i think most of the times i died was was in my spaceship you found a fire uh phyroxygenian data pad with a par partial set of coordinates that could lead you to a star temple star temples are dangerous places that contain powerful alien technology well we've already str struck it rich because that the star temples tend to be very very good uh, we want to be cognizant of um, if we're like how much much oxygen we have left We have eight crew members in our squad when you take damage There's like a chance for your, you to lose squad members. I'm pretty sure uh, and then when you're out of squad members I'm pretty sure you just die um, But uh, you know that didn't tend to happen I've hit the explore button. I'm just gonna do a Explosion notice the icicles. I'm not sure what you're trying to tell me there. 50% oxygen. Let's go ahead and uh, refuel our oxygen just to be safe. Apparently, we have the ability to walk over, uh, you know, like move over water. That is not necessarily a guarantee. Um, we're almost done. Looks like a face in the tree. I don't know. Some some kind of observation. Exploration complete. So that was a, a fairly. Um, eventless exploration which is good entire way team survived this mission to hard world <laughs> you just completed your first planetary survey in addition to all the data and experience you've collected you now have the option to remove this planet from the star map 
and store it as a survey, which can be sold for 2000 If you do, you will not be able to land here again. Would you like to store this? Sure. There isn't really much reason to go back there. So that, uh, that, uh, planet is now donezo. I think we have a quest here. Scan results. We do, we definitely do have a quest here because I'm supposed to be, uh, scanning like four different kinds of planets. This place is a bit more interesting. For one thing, it's got like, oh, well, uh, this is interesting. Someone died here. Wreckage. Sorry about this. I, uh, I guess I looted that body. So we got our first enemy. There's a tick. Uh, I think we can hit, I think I have hit F. Yeah, we can shoot, shoot the baddie. Uh, I, I seem to recall really disliking those ticks because they can, uh, they can just teleport away as soon as things get dicey for them. That's quite a collection of boxes of boxes. We've got boxes of boxes. If you're not sure what boxes of boxes are, I don't blame you. They're basically just a, <laughs> uh, a kind of generic cargo. Um, Ion is deadly to tick. Nice. We, we found the uh, the thing, the, the, the rock to the ticks paper, you know. Wait, that other way around. Other way around. <laughs> Um, it's, it's just like kind of like generic cargo in this game um, and and some of it is like very ironic and uh, funny in nature Ooh, DNA sample We're roaming around got some sun fun sound effects I did I, I just like I don't know really liked this game. It's it's kind of goofy um but like it, its heart is exactly in the right place uh you know in terms of like a space exploration game or even a, like a space sim game this game scratched a lot of itches that a lot of other games didn't you know like um hold on everyone's packing up as fast as they can we have more than enough boxes but i don't think we are getting out of here alive we got a little bit of lore we've got our first bit of ancient history these few sectors were the last holdout for the terran Co coalition a once great stellar civilization what happened so we got our first bit of humanity's fate. You are on the trail now. There must be more blasted settlements in nearby sectors. Explore them. It's up to you to find out where the clues lead. The, the quest to fall of Terra has been added to your quest log. We got some money. Good stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Um, yeah, we, we were running out of oxygen. I think we're good here. Actually, we can leave. The tick's body, through larger than most common insects, is still incredibly tough. It is easy to lose sight of these disease-carrying bugs until they appear right in front of you. Oh, God, I forgot about disease. Uh, yeah, let's convert this into a survey. I, I have such a weird relationship with space games, you know? Like, I really like space games in theory. Um, I mean, like, not just in theory, but I like space games, you know? Like, I really do. I, the idea of space is such a interesting... Thing for me a filthy yet flamboyant space pirate harasses you in a jaunty pigeon language drop what you've got and run while you while we claim it no uh we do not crave violence and we acknowledge your military power sigorn rep plus two let's just go away from the pirates we don't we'll get some reputation from them apparently for uh Interacting with them. I think that's new. I don't think that was a thing before. Oof. There's the pirate raiders again. Luckily, they're not. They seem to be staying away from me. Um, I, I, I don't know. Like, I just have such a weird mixed relationship with, with space games. Because, like, on one hand, I love the idea of them. But on the other hand, I find so many of them to be painfully generic. And, like, not generic in a, like, a, a space way. Um... In a, in a mechanical way, I find so many of them just, like, kind of cover exactly the same ground. And, um, I, I don't know, like, you know, maybe that's just a me problem. And it is a me problem. Um, we need more supplies. Supplies are, what, like, basically your food, um, and what you, you spend that as you move around. This is a banker station, so that's, these are what the bankers look like, which is interesting. Commodities exchange. We can sell what we've got. We've got some uh, boxes of boxes. I don't know. Um, tab to view warp screen. So here's our new warp screen. And we have uh, apparently some reason to go over there. Not sure why. 
uh i was a little I'm, I'm interested to see um like we don't i guess we don't have a good sense of how much things sell for this is one of the things about this game that was kind of cool is that you could um you, you didn't it didn't just like tell you the galactic average of resources you had to kind of figure it out and and learn over time and then eventually you could you could get some trade routes um we can sell this food this food actually weirdly does not serve as resources so there's resources that you spend as you move around and then there's just food so food is just a you know basic generic resource that you can buy and sell for the sake of uh either solving quests or uh, making some extra trade money um and we got some outfitters so this is the uh where you buy um utilities and all kinds of stuff definitely we're going to want to make use of that eventually we have our surveys but we don't want to sell these just yet also i found that often um keeping your surveys was the thing to do because certain alien races are interested in certain surveys so if you keep them and then wait until you like um find like the right race and then just sell all the ones that are valuable then you'll make a lot more money in the long run asteroids are known to be rich in a z whoa good luck with that word well this is not normally valuable we have found a use for it mine asteroids and retrieve 15 samples of that thing eh. nothing in the shipyard huh oh i didn't mean to depart did not mean to depart. Um, mm. this ham do I, I do recall liking the dual uh, duraplast hammer, but I think there's a better weapon that was like the duraplast sword or something. Uh, excessive force applied with the blunt surface to crush the default damage type of hammers, as well as a, a concussive type of guns. Yeah, I think we're good here. I didn't mean to do that. I was in that guy's way. He couldn't. He couldn't do anything about it. All right, let's um, let's move over here. I like how you can click on the mini map. Oh. Okay, these guys are shooting at us. Um, we don't have any armor installed, so as soon as our shields are oh, okay, we're gonna have to start shooting back at them. Ooh, we have a pretty good weapon, I guess. Um, I think we have, yeah, we've, our, our magnetic shield is taking damage. I think we got one of these, uh, weapons that has a cooldown. So you, as soon as you've used it, you got to like figure out something to do for a turn, but that's okay. Um, I can't remember what the button is. There's a button that's like, wait until your shields are fully, um, re not repaired, but like, you know what I mean? Um refilled rest scan planet uh there's like yeah you know, last 30 messages fire range weapon next target read captain's log cloak grenade smart action swap weapon warp warps not the warps only gonna matter once we um once we have a warp drive right now we can only warp when we're at the warp gate which is here and we are going to warp captain before we leave the sector we should consider taking a paying contract offered at the banker station sure I, okay i mean they were offering a mining mission so i'm not a huge fan of that also what are these pink dots i guess that just means asteroids yeah, those pink dots are asteroids. Okay. So, um, oh God, we have to pay more money to fully, we just like wasted a bunch of money. I do have a bunch of money, so it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and accept this contract and then let's leave. So I think that these numbers did indicate um, a challenge level. Not sure if that's true or not. Is it challenge level three? Oh, okay. It's not going to tell us. So it might be more. Yeah, I, I think the numbers might maybe just indicate like that place, not not anything else. We're entering a region of space known as the Forgotten Battleground. A great war was fought and lost here long ago. Now a handful of alien factions via for vie for control 
of the new uh, few remaining resources opportunistic space pirates and the belligerent gruff are thorns in the side of the bankers trade empire and their Sigorn servants a criminal syndicate is trying to establish a foothold nearby okay looks like you know what you're doing all officer skills have been unlocked and can be chosen when starting a new game there are also cheat modes available okay cool uh we've got a planet we can check out threat level 133 percent the, this number like was kind of hit or miss as to like whether or not it actually mean, meant anything uh, Indicate that any creature encountered here could be especially dangerous Okay, good to know I'll take my chances for now. I might regret that Maybe that number is a, a better indication now than it used to be Oh cave it. Oh, right. I forgot about that we're ready for him. Everyone's armed to the teeth. We'll be sorry. They'll be sorry if they try to take her home. We're definitely going to want to get some more utilities. We have, like, basically nothing right now. Giant snail. I seem to recall that giant snails are really tough hunting you. Certainly we are doing, like, no damage, but it's not moving, so we can just hit it. Word of your actions get around. Fame increases when you defeat enemies, complete quests, or accomplish something rare or difficult. Infamy is a measure of generally negative actions and increases when your crew dies. You attack non-hostiles or you aid nefarious beings in their evil, evil schemes. Each faction will react differently to your fame and infamy. Gruff and resistance value fame. Um, Limaki and monks react negatively to infamy, while pirates and eaters respect it. Interesting. So we got fame. That's good. And it's uh, good in my opinion. Oh god, the rubble. I, oh god, I'm really not good at avoiding it at all, am I? Maybe the landing party should rest to heal. Press 5 or right-click the away team to rest one turn. You can also wait to allow other entities to move. Hold control to wait multiple turns. We can hold control. Uh, control plus five is a long wait. Uh, is it just five? Okay. So that's how we wait until fully rested. Ah, uh, but, uh, you know, that also uses up oxygen. Good to know. We have another snail. It's okay. A quick draw aim assisted blaster gives you one free attack against any enemy that moves within its range per turn. This might let you flee and fire at the same time or take out a few members of a horde as they close in on you. Opportunity attack. I seem to recall, yeah, um... Enemies like to flee in this game which is fine a mystical amulet from what you can make out the story tells uh, the book tell, tells the story of an uh item so powerful that it was hidden deep underground on the galactic edge to keep it beyond the grasp of those who would misuse it some kind of yeah amulet of yendor i never did beat this game um it's something i'd like to do one day 50% oxygen remaining. Let's go ahead and uh, make our way back. Oh, God. Ouch. I I just really, I really enjoy the um, limitations of this game. It, it was, it's, it's fun. Like, you know, there's, there's a lot of depth in this one. A lot of depth, but it wasn't like super unintuitive. It wasn't like, um... You know, I don't know, like a net hack. Or, uh, you know, it wasn't, I don't know, like, I don't know what to compare it to, but there's a, you know, a few games where I, I think it's fair to say that they're not necessarily easy to figure out without spending a lot of time or basically like looking up a lot of guides. I didn't look up a lot of guides, but I didn't also figure out everything in this game. I, I got a lot of helpful messages uh, on my series to kind of guide me along. The human race isn't gone or dead or lost, just scattered. There is no home world anymore, no earth. Sanctuary space is a cruel joke, but they carry on, finding purpose where they can. 
Your backstory has been updated. Look for changes the next time you start a new game. Interesting. Black oily goo. Well, if X Files is any indication, then black oily goo is going to be uh, no bueno. So those uh, those fish are a nice thing to attack because um, they can't attack back, but there is quite a few uh creatures in the water that can attack back and they're a major pain um i just realized is that a was that something i could move up into i'm not sure uh oh, whatever it's fine there'll be plenty of opportunity like there's uh not just like planets to explore but you can also go underground in uh oh we have two stations next to each other you could go underground in uh, in planets, and that was like a like a, basically a d dungeons, and they were kind of really spicy. They were really interesting. You knew that the tent uh, tentaculons were sea creatures, but you did not know, uh, did not expect that the pristine white quarters of their highly advanced science facility would smell so strongly of oceans, both the good and the bad. Some of the bulky creatures slither past you, operating several small instruments at once. So that's what they look like. Let's fully restock we can sell our data sell 13,000 data for 34,000 they have some people that we could hire we don't have enough money though well we do have enough money tactical officers are both useful both in space and on planets they gain XP by defeating enemies. Combat Division Red has these activated skills, run and gun. Right, so ha hiring a tactical officer is not a terrible idea because um, then we would gain experience from killing creatures. We don't necessarily gain that. Um, diplomacy officers are better at making friends and dealing with enemies. They gain XP for hiring and promoting skill. Our crew, sorry, making large transactions and make talking to aliens. So we actually gain experience from uh, talking to creatures. Some of the things I really liked about this game is that uh, you don't necessarily benefit purely from killing things. Um, there's there's actually a lot of room for for uh, diversification. I'm already proficient with a combat specialist skill, and I hope you'll be pleased with my service. Sure, let's uh, hire them. Commodities exchange. Um, so I'm not sure. I never could figure out this best here. Um, okay, so best, I guess, means that it's better to buy boxes at, um, one, which is the place we came from. We're, I think, at two right now. No, we're at sector, sector three. So, we have some microchips we can sell. They're apparently better to sell here than somewhere else. We can sell some small arms. Some good money right there. Uh, and yeah, it would be better to sell the boxes here, too. Um, Starship off. Outfitters be good idea to get some Armor and stuff. We've got to, we've got a lot of disposable cash. It might be better to actually look at a new uh, a better um, Ship, but this one costs a lot of money Greatly increases the amount of data received from all sources sometimes by over a hundred percent or more This one has a way better hull, but worse crew It's not this is, uh, I think, one of my only complaints about this game was that you could spend a lot of money on a new ship, and I never really came to a point in this game where, like, buying a new ship was really worth it. I always found it to be pretty lackluster. Um, that one is actually, that one was actually a bit better. Crafting lab, we definitely want a crafting lab. I don't know if we would want a ion engine. Evasion 5, supplies used 7. We, what kind of engine do we have right now? We have a fission reactor. So this is, uh... Mm, do we have a fission? That's, yeah, engine? Engine. So, yeah, evasion 5, and it only uses 7. I guess it shows us, it, compar it shows the comparison right under it. So this is better, because it offers us a bit more evasion less supplies used could be good uh, meanwhile this exploration suit has more oxygen um environmental resistance as well is better i don't know what that other rating at the end there is speed 
I actually I think that what we're wearing is better So um ceramic general ceramic armor could be good and um i think we'll keep what we've got i can't remember how we access our ship there's like an easy way to do it installed ship devices uh, i think it just automatically equips stuff because we had empty slots we could stand to buy a grenade we don't have uh access to one right now but anyway we're i think we're good um i don't think we can promote anyone yet we definitely want to put her on the away team we can change their outfit which is kind of funny Do we i think it's a well it's not maybe not a great idea to assign the captain there is a benefit to assigning the captain to uh, the away team, th there's a greater risk, obviously. Um, but if we have an exploration, uh, exploration based captain, then we get way more benefit from exploring, uh, on the ground and, you know, so sell data. This is, this seems like a good thing, but I am a little bit concerned that that I, I was, is that going to sell our, no, I don't think it's going to sell our surveys. We need to keep the surveys, but I think selling the data is fine. Let's just double check. Yeah, we're fine there. Okay, so um, that is that done. Let's go ahead and oops, what happened? I think I accidentally pressed the Windows key. Let's do an auto explore. There is our uh, oh, okay. There's a derelict. Now uh, shipwrecks are have been completely reworked in this game since last I touched it. We got it. Scan results. Um, derelict ships were or shipwrecks were all always kind of dicey um but they could be really profitable but now they're even better because um and i'm not sure if i guess this is a shipwreck it might not be the same as a derelict ship but now you have the potential to actually like um like repair them and then maybe even sell them so there's like there's more stuff that you can do with uh like derelict ships you have a cybernetic skills available, but not equipped. Find them on the officer screen, fifth row down, open officer screen. Oh, click and press E to equip or unequip. Limit two per officer, use them. Okay. Can we equip it now? Uh, green cyber gel. Uh, oh active ship skills coming in 2023 so that might be the update that i'm gonna see in like two days can we do we want to promote them we can't promote them yet i'm not sure it it told me but i'm not sure oh press u to get use the gel to cut skill cooldowns in half activate skills are enabled by installing cybernetic modules click a skill module or press E to equip or remove it. Which module would you like to wish to equip or remove? Okay, so we've equipped dodge. Uh, first attack against you every turn for five turns will automatically miss. So we want to make sure that we use that. Uh, I'm not sure how we use that. It could be it's in here somewhere. Uh, maybe special monitor is operational. So I'm pretty sure this is a security field. Well, there's a cybernetic right there. Congratulations, Captain. You found a cybernetic skill module. It can be equipped from the officer's screen and activated with shortcut keys or clicking them in the eighth window, uh, info window. Ah, okay. Each of the five divisions can equip unique skills. They're not for sale. So you'll need to find them along with other loot types. Okay. So, um, what I'm hearing is that there is a, yeah, there it is. Okay. So there's the, there's the, our dodge. So when we, as soon as we're in like a situation where we're taking melee hits, we might want to hit that dodge key. What we get away mission consumed some supplies. Docking with wreckage. 
Uh, I'm not sure what we just got. We got something. Pretty sure using G green cyber gel will reduce the cooldown time of social division. Okay. There's a, a lot of stuff in this game and I have, um, I, I, oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. Let's move back. Opportunity attack. See that, uh, worked out well. Now, unfortunately they can, they can back up with us, but we have a cool ability where we can shoot them while we're moving backwards. So we want to, we want to do that. We probably wanted to do a uh, dodge. You just use a cybernetic skill. This is a cooldown before you can use it again. You have the option to use gel to reduce that cooldown by half. So now that we have, we're dodging crowd control, the energy from your zapper will propagate out from your main target and hit adjacent creatures. It won't hit you, but it might hit any friendlies in the area. So be careful. Okay. And reminder to let it recharge between strikes for maximum damage. Wow. Nice. So what do we got here? Oh, this is a bed. Captain's bed. Recruit Angel Dixon says we found some scrap metal. Five of these can be used to build a wall on a shipwreck where floor meets space. Three can repair a damaged wall and one will repair a damaged floor. Press B or click the repair button and then press the movement key to build a wall and a valid tile. So that I think is uh is new and uh potentially useful. We just got some uh combat division skill module spin attack. So I think this is damage section. I think we can use uh maybe if we get some more scrap metal we can come back and repair this. What is what was this thing again? This is life support. We can actually um Oh, zombies. Let's uh not play or play around with zombies. I'm pretty sure there is a potential to um get infected by zombies. I'm just looking I can see that there's a way to circle around Oh god, no. These guys are quite tanky. We can use our um incendiary zapper. That probably it looks like it did way more damage. We want to make sure our incendiary zapper is off cooldown to get the most from it. Nice. Things are working out well. Oh God. I, I just had to say something, didn't I? Okay, we can uh, we can do a heal though. Let's do control five. We got some DNA. Let's uh, wait for our zapper to come off cooldown. Ooh, okay. I think we got some more scrap metal. Okay, we, I, I see a good opportunity for um, our zapper to do some damage. Yeah, the zombies, uh, these zombies do some nasty damage, but we are... We're taking care of them pretty okay. Uh, did we lose the... I think we lost the life support. I think it's gone. That's no good. Kind of hoping... Yeah, they get all grouped up. And then we can do... Yeah, that was good. Okay, we don't want to... Incendiary is deadly to zombies. This is good news for us. 50, uh, 50 oxygen remaining. Where's our map? Okay, we want to... Let's go and refill our oxygen. Things are working out pretty well so far. This is our spatial monitor. Oof. 
I think there's a good reason why um, you don't you like you want things to stay alive. Oh, we got some art. Found some strange alien artwork. Scale is abstract and approaching infinity. A single 2D map may represent several cubic light years. A planetary island chain or the interior of a shipwreck. Space is relative and so is time. Don't trouble yourself with measurements like inches, kilograms, hours, or parsecs. Just explore the galaxy at your own pace and see how long you can avoid your own annihilation. So I think these are all going to come with some kind of like thing. No, these are all artwork. I think you could, these are all like user submitted. Wow. Awesome. Amazing. Manifest of the NIS Internet scene. Life pod Sigorn. Okay. It's a manifest. Interesting to some, not to me. We got some um, red gel. Uh, combat division skill module copy grenade. Deactivated terminal. Can we reactivate it? We're not going to shoot ourselves, Captain. Okay, so that means we can't reactivate it. Oh, God. That went well. That went very well. Because we'll take a shot while they uh, walk up to us. We'll um, wait a couple turns so that we get the full use. Yeah, this uh, this weapon turned out to be like just exactly I ideal. Um, and this ship is turning out to be a really, really good thing. I would love to see if I could maybe repair it. Because this is a... A new thing in this game, and I want to I want to take advantage of it if I can. Let's take a couple of shots. Uh, not yet an ideal. There we go. That's that's better. Congratulations, Captain Axa Angel Dixon leveled up. It's time to choose a new skill. Would you like to give a promotion now? Sure. Uh, increase weapon damage. Reduce weapon cooldown. Increase shield recharge. Increase sidearm range. Uh, bonus damage to non-hostile creatures. Do more melee damage. Automatic melee strike back. This weight team will automatically strike back at any creature that melee strikes them. Each level grants one strike back per turn. This seems like a really good idea, but let's take the melee specialist. That just is going to benefit us right away. Perfect. Refill our uh, oxygen. You can install ranged and melee weapons as well as grenades you find on away missions without returning to the shuttle. Press I to click the install button. Any previous items will be removed. Um, cool, but I definitely think we want to, um, keep using what we're using right now because it is some nice artwork here. It's working out for us. Some really cool artwork. Why don't they auto search the lockers? Save for later. Oh, I see. It's uh, so we can pick that up to um, get some health. What is this? You're already carrying a large item. What is it? It is a life support module. Well, that's cool. I think we can, if we go back, it'll automatically drop off what we're carrying. Yes. Nice little quality of life feature. I appreciate that. Okay, nice. Congratulations, Captain. You leveled up. It's time to choose a new skill. Uh, hire more crew at less cost. Better relations sh relations with aliens. Increase supply storage. Increase pawn shop reselling prices. Help officers gain experience. Enemy ships may drop. I think this learning coach is probably the best value to take early. When you reach level 5, you'll be able to take second level skills. At level 11, you can improve skills beyond their natural limits. Nice. The zombies were a little bit uh, tougher. Okay, let's grab that. I think that's all data, so we can sell that at the nearest station. Or we must be getting pretty close to the end of the enemies in this ship. We can also start to see, like, kind of what uh, the ship looks like. Searching. 
got 50% oxygen, so let's head back. Recharge our oxygen. <laughs> I like the little books animation. That's really cute. What is this? Oh, I think that just recovers our health. So, um, there's got, I think there's a way to repair. I don't know how much scrap we have carrying. Um, Hmm. I'm not sure how to do this. They explained it to me, but you know, some, I, I'm a better, I'm better at learning when I'm doing something. You know what I mean? Searching. The pirates and the gruff are fighting in sector six. I think if I hit B, well, captain, we finally figured it out. Why some crafting parts are so hard to find. Partial sequencer, rare. Thermal flux, uh, stabilizer, rare. Accretion potentiometer is rare. Okay. They're used to make doors. Now we can create doors in straight ship walls, not corners. With the repair function in those rare parts. Selection, select direction to repair. Not enough scrap. Okay. Uh, I don't know where... Like, I, I don't know where scrap is indicated. Like, how do we know how much scrap we have? Oh. Scrap metal zero of one. So I don't, I don't have a lot. That's okay. We got a lot from this ship. And uh, no one died. Zombies are sluggish, disease-ridden, mutated corpses that congregate on shipwrecks. They are resistant to piercing and smashing, but easily sliced apart or burnt up. Now that you've explored the shipwreck, you can choose one of the following options. Blow, blow it up for parts. Tow it to a station. Can't use not enough decks. Huh. Let's, uh, let's blow it up for parts. Then maybe we can use the parts to repair the next ship. Okay, Captain, we'll get right on that. Our exploration revealed some structural weak points, so we can shoot them from a distance and see what comes out. We just need to move away. Your fame has reached a new level, and you are noticed. All right. So for our efforts, we get a bunch of stuff. And uh, gadget plank tuner. And we get a bunch of scrap. That's all scrap we can use. Potentially eh, abandon your cargo. No. Oh, he, he can take a hit, actually. Should we call for help, Captain? I wonder if there are any friendly ships that could help, uh, we could hail to help us against this pirate raider. Make it to the wait warp point or hide somewhere. Yeah, uh, let's, let's move away and try and hide. There's nothing but empty space beyond the map's edge. A sector represents a condensed map of everything in the area and can be interacted with. From the warp point, you can go to all sectors beyond, moving in a slow meandering spiral towards the galactic center. Somewhere around sector 25,000. No one expects you to go that far. It's just for descriptive purposes. <laughs> I like the the, uh, the flavor. It's really good. Okay. Um, let's talk to this tentaculon explorer. We are on an important mission, and if you challenge this vessel, more will come. Only well, we got some reputation. Oh, God. Please. Okay, I think we quote unquote lost them. Oh no! We need to get to that station. Uh, you cannot land or dock while in combat. Well, unfortunately, this guy seems to take zero damage from uh, my my weapons. Like he takes some, but not enough. Okay, uh, maybe we're good now. Banker interceptors. 
Everything you want, all you need, bring what you have, take what you can. I like that there's a reward for healing ships now. A little more than base animals, we ignore them. Oh, something... They're, they seem to be attacking each other. Uh, and we're a diplomatic captain, so I'm pretty sure that we gain a benefit from making, like, getting reputation. Let's, uh, repair our hull. Hire, oh, we can, oh, hire navigation. Perfect. We could definitely use someone for navigation. They have intuitive mapping. Level one reveals the outer border of all shipwrecks. You dock with level two. Oh, you dock with. Level two shows all bulkheads. Officers must accompany away, away team. Yeah, let's, uh, let's hire them. We'll sell our data. Um... We could sell stuff. Life support module increases max crew size. Duraplast knife. Life light piercing pulse. We definitely would be a good idea to like look through some stuff. There's a lot of systems here I haven't talked about, by the way. Like in addition to all the stuff we've mentioned, like ground uh, combat, ground exploration, space exploration. We also have uh, crafting. You've unlocked all crafting operations for this run. You can now salvage, experiment, and build components and devices. You can also attempt to discover new schematics by combining parts and running tests. So there's an interesting kind of like, if you're familiar with the uh, game Mastermind kind of mini game in this game, um, you can salvage parts. And I'm, I'm going to salvage like this um, generic part. And that gives us like, yeah, it gives us a chance to learn the recipe. So now we can learn, we can actually craft that part, right? I'm pretty sure it actually is generally a hundred percent chance. I think that you all, for the most part, if you want to get into crafting, and I think you should get into crafting if you're planning to to go for the long haul, is uh, you pretty much want to salvage everything. You get some parts and you get um, recipes. When you craft weapons for the away team, whether ranged or melee, you can decide what type to make, but you must salvage that kind of item first. Taking apart a pistol does not teach you how to craft a beamer and so on. There are nine types of ranged weapons and five melee weapons get to work. Yeah, and then we want to salvage the life support module. So it's a little bit expensive in the in the beginning, but for your efforts, you'll be given a bunch of stuff. Um, these are all, like you get a little bit of this stuff. Yes, yeah, a salvaged light ship weapon parts required. You'll get some of these parts uh, and then what you want to do is uh, you just like kind of throw them together. So you uh, can run a test, right? So I can run this test. And we know that um, four of these lead to something. And then the other two don't, uh, the other two that I used didn't. So that's a pretty good start. So we could throw another couple of things in there, right? Oh, that didn't work, you know? Uh, and then we, we can kind of continue this process. Congratulations, you discovered the schematic for sensors yay right so um and the reason they give you all of these slots is like oh maybe we have something going on here but we don't have the correct parts to like continue figuring it out so we may as well like try something else while we're at it so this uh this screen kind of looks intimidating but it's actually pretty simple once you get the hang of it and then once you've learned a, a few recipes we can actually start to uh craft some stuff uh it is it is pretty expensive but um it is worth it and you can craft things that are better oh right sorry light ship weapon these are all the parts that are required to build a light ship weapon um it is expensive but eventually you get to the point where you can like buy parts and they're pretty cost effective it's kind of like uh you know maybe not the greatest comparison because most people won't maybe get this but like similar to how i've been buying like ammo parts for making ammo in like uh stalker escape from pripyat so uh, it's it's just a cost of what, uh, effective way of doing things. You can more uh, more cost effectively buy the parts to make a thing than buy the thing, and then eventually your the things that you're making will be better than what you're buying. So um, I think that's gonna do it for this. We got we got a pretty good sense of like what this game is and how it plays. It's a very traditional roguelike with a little bit of meta progression. The meta progression is very optional, but I think it does actually end up being a good thing in a weird way because the thing is is it, it doesn't really give you an advantage. What it really does is cut out a lot of grinding. <laughs> Cuz this game kind of does get very grindy. 
um in the early game you like really have to take a lot a lot of time to buy a lot of the necessary um ship devices a lot of the necessary things for allowing you to explore properly um and you know it, it, it gets to be quite a lot of doing the same thing so i think that meta progression really just kind of cuts out some of the early game i guess it would be the equivalent of like if you were playing caves of could and it was like do you want to skip to being able to do golgotha right away so like you're level 12 right away and and you don't have to do that like the first part of the game it'd be kind of like that and there's you know that's it's fine you don't have to do that um the game absolutely 100 percent can can be beaten from square one um but you know it just kind of cuts out some of that legwork so anyway um if you'd like to see a series for this game uh you know for for one point well it's not 1.0 it's actually like 1.7 of approaching infinity and if you enjoyed this video definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time Take it easy. Have a good one.